<laughs> so good. I join in giving thanks for Nadine and the, the love that builds ministry. And we get to celebrate two baptisms this morning. So I'm going to ask if Joe and Dominique Peters would come forward to our platform. And, and then uh, after this, I'll ask uh, Holly Poplitz to come uh, and we'll celebrate her baptism. Uh, baptism is a glorious recognition of the fact that there is no one, no matter how young and innocent or how perfectly they, they may be presented, that doesn't need uh, the shed blood of Jesus and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit. And Joe and Dominique, you were here about a year or so ago with Colby. So Colby, how did that baptism take? He's been perfect since then, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's what we advertise. He's glorious uh, as the older brother. And so now we get to celebrate Caden's baptism. And you took these same vows uh, when Colby uh, was baptized, but we understand that in the New Testament, there are 12 occasions that baptism occurs when you study the whole New Testament. And three of the nine occurrences stress that whole households were baptized and that the children of believers have this sign placed on them, that they're claimed by Jesus Christ from their birth and from their assignment. And um, both Colby and Caden have been blessed to be assigned to parents who love them and also love them with a spiritual love for their well-being. And so we want to present you with this Jesus Storybook Bible. We want each of your sons to have one and also um, to be nurtured, not only in your home, but we commit as a body to nurture them. So I want to ask you the, the following vows, if you have them up there for us. Um, do you acknowledge Caden's need of the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and the renewing grace of the Holy Spirit? We do. And do you claim God's covenant promise on Caden's behalf? And do you look in faith in the Lord Jesus for Caden's salvation, even as you look in faith for your own salvation? Yes. And do you now unreservedly baptize Caden to God and promise in humble reliance upon divine grace that you'll set before Caden a godly example Pray with and for Caden, teach him the doctrines of the Holy Scriptures, and strive by all the means of God's appointment to bring Caden up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Yes. Great. And then the next question is for you as the body, um, and this includes uh, supportive family and others. Do you, and, and if so, answer I, we do, do you as a congregation and Christian friends and family undertake the responsibility of assisting Joe and Dominique in the Christian nurture of these children. And that commits us in a number of ways to embody Jesus Christ. But um, that is part of the enrichment of being part of a team and a community and a village that God has made for the bringing up of the children. And now for the moment of truth, yes. Caden, yes. Oh, so adorable. Caden Colt Peters. Caden Colt Peters, Jesus loves you. He loves you as his very own. Oh, I knew that would happen. <laughs> He's number two, so you just wipe it off. Yeah. Caden <laughs> um, Colt Peters, Jesus loves you. And he has set you apart and he's given you wonderful Christian parents and a family to be part of. And so Caden Colt Peters, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Our great God, we pray that you would accompany this sign by the power of the Holy Spirit in Caden's life. We pray that he would have the power of the Holy Spirit helping him know Jesus, love Jesus, and surrender his life to Jesus. We pray that he would be a mighty servant of yours, that he would contend for the faith of his own generation, and he would live with, with the joy of the Lord and a clear testimony, that you would protect him, Lord, from the forces of the world, um, from the evil one himself, and from his own flesh, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, that he would be part of the generation that seek your face and serve your purpose. Thank you, Lord, for Joe and Dominique. Thank you for their faith. Thank you for what this represents for them in yielding um, Caden, but also Colby, up to you, Lord, uh, and that you would bless this home, bless this marriage, provide for them, and provide all that they need to serve you 
We pray these things in Jesus' name. And God's people said, amen. Amen. He is a happy customer. Yeah.